So I have a baby strapped to my chest today, guys. My daughter did not want to take a nap, and I wanted to come do eBay stuff and pull some orders. So we made a compromise. She just came with me. That's just how committed I am to bringing you guys quality footage from the nerd lair here. I sold an Xbox 360 game, Darkness 2 Limited Edition. I grabbed both of these because I'm not sure which one sold. One has a sticker on the front cover here, the other does not, and I need to relist one of these. We just have to check out that picture to see which one sold. $10.10 and free shipping. I sold two PS3 games, and these are going to be God of War 3, not for resale editions which is just a cardboard insert, or I should say a cardboard sleeve. I have a ton of these, and I'm glad one person bought two because I'm not making much off of one, so I'll save a little money on shipping. These sold for 10 bucks each, $20 total. I've been trying to do some listings here, but I just keep getting distracted with actually packing orders and then producing YouTube content, so it's kind of just me having to find the right balance in what I'm doing in this nerd lair. Sold a lot of six Kinect games. This was bundled as a dancing lot. Typically they're pretty hard to sell, but Kinect games seem to be moving pretty quickly. Okay, so I got the stack here. Let's take a closer look at these. This is gonna be Just Dance 4, Just Dance 2014, Dance Central, Dance Central 2, Zumba Fitness Rush, and Zumba Fitness Core. I sold these for 2023. The buyer and I were going back and forth on offers and that's what we settled at. Next up is gonna be another Connect lot. This is labeled as a children's lot. Six games in this stack here. Wipeout in the zone, Sonic Freeriders, Connect Sports, Connect Sports Season 2, Connectimals, and Disneyland Adventures, $20 even for that stack. Sold a lot of six Xbox 360 games. These are disc only. I was afraid these would have next to no value, but I am making some profit in these. Let's take a closer look. Really common titles here, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Gears of War 3, Borderlands and Fallout 3. This stack sold for $12.50. Sold another action figure and just like a lot of my action figures, this one is from my collection, a previous collection. Got this from Walmart years ago. Cost me eight bucks. Super Baby Vegeta. It's a Dragon Ball GT figure. Funny story with this. I did not see this anywhere on eBay or Amazon and I had searched for probably 30 minutes seeing if it was just mislabeled or named something different. I listed this for $150. I knew it was not worth anything near to that but I wanted to see what kind of attention it got and if anyone uh, became a watcher. Pretty much cut the price in half every week or so and then I just settled on a price of $33 for this. It might be worth a little more it seems kind of rare. Sold a disc only game, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This sold for $6.50. I'll make about $1.50 off this after shipping Media Mail. Another disc only game sold. This is going to be Halo Reach for the 360. I don't have many disc games listed right now, but there it is Halo Reach. Super light, very easy to ship. Media Mail. Next up is a Tomb Raider reboot for the 360. Sold one of these a few weeks ago. I actually have this game in my personal collection as well. Haven't played it recently at all, but I got $7 for this. This insert's a little beat up and it's disc only in here. No instruction manual, but somebody still wanted it for seven bucks. I'll get that packaged up and ready to go. I finally sold one of these Battlefield 1 early enlister copies for the Xbox One. This was a bad purchase, guys. This is the opposite of a bolo. For this, you want to avoid it at all costs. I bought 10 of these for $39, all sealed, thinking I was being smart. Just sold this for $8.25, and I'm hardly breaking even on this. And I have like eight more to sell. That's probably going to be a buy and hold for just a long period of time because I can't I can't take any further loss on those. 
Don't buy them, though. A good friend of mine gave me a bunch of games and DVDs to sell. He told me just keep the money. But I'm going to go ahead and just put it in his daughter's 529 plan. And one of those games was Ninja Gaiden 2 for the 360. This does have the slip cover. I got $12.10 for this. I again sold Lego Batman 2 for the 360. If you remember back, this was the game that was purchased and then canceled a few days later. I raised the price by like 60 cents, but then I took an offer of 620. So I got 10 extra pennies for dealing with the hassle of having to click relist on this. Guys, I'm taking a little coffee break here. I got a question from a viewer who's a longtime subscriber named G Lopez. He wanted an update on that Pokemon action figure that got jammed in the post office box in the last video. So that figure was accepted into the post office later on that same day. There wasn't any issues. The postal clerk didn't throw it on the roof of King Supers just to spite me. And it actually was already delivered at this point. So no problems there. I'm not sure if that mailbox is getting old and rusty on the inside or something like that. But that flap seems to seize up quite a bit, even with some smaller packages. If you're just joining me guys, this is my basement. I call it my nerd lair. I buy and sell video games, action figures, and all sorts of junk on eBay. Don't do this full time, just a part timer making extra money to purchase video games for my collection. Alright, let's get back to this. I sold Cletus, a Simpsons action figure. This is going all the way to Brazil. I usually don't ship international, but the guy made me an offer and I accepted it. And I'm just hoping there's no issues. So I got $19.50 for this. I usually turn off the global shipping option, but I think I must have left it on in this situation. I stopped doing international because there were so many problems with the global shipping network where I would ship it off, it would be three weeks later, and then the buyer would say, hey, where's my item at? It's taking forever. And I would just always reply back, yes, I know it's international shipping. It's in the hands of the global shippers now. I have nothing to do with it at this point. But after saying that to probably three or four people in a row, I just kind of said screw it, it wasn't worth the time. But somebody in Brazil really wanted Cletus. So I'm trying something new today. I scheduled a pickup from the post office. Gonna drop these outside my front door. Hopefully they do actually come and don't just ignore it. This postal lady, I think she has it out for me guys, seriously this time. My dog bit her on the butt probably last year and I think she still has a little animosity towards me because of that. It was a huge accident, long story, but I'm gonna set these out now and these are all going out in media mail. <laughs> <sighs> 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 <sighs>